but in those and of course this the money being put up by none other than blackout gaming as well so just a reminder again tonight you're here with vanilla tv arcs and beta bringing you the commentary with bones doing his multiple talents and multiple screens multiple juggling ob objects at the same time we've got a right treat for you on the stream tonight so give us your feedback and uh, if you haven't seen it honestly it's bloody awesome <laughs> are, we, are we are we showcasing some new new stuff Mate, today? Yeah, we're or? doing split screen. Ah. So Bones is using two computers to stream. What that gives us the ability to do is that um, he can show different points of view at different times of the map, and we can have three screens on once. So we could be both in eyes and both demo for the rollout, as well as then switching back to one of the demo whoever gets caught, as well as having the damage as well. So yeah, you know, I, I've, I mean, I've, I've seen, shout, I've seen the technology, and I tell you yeah, what, this, yeah. is, this is next generation uh, pretty much streaming, pretty much. guys. This this is the future. So obviously, you saw it here first. Vanilla TV coming at you, and uh, well, we hope you enjoy it. As, yeah, and as much as guys, uh, Arx, let's give a shout out to the boys, by the way, as well. So we might get the limelight, but I'm very much so of sharing the credit round. So there's a lot of guys that have been doing oh, yeah, a lot of work, work so for this. Hard. And um, Airy, Bones, Atmo, David, just naming a few. I know there's most, loads of you guys have been doing it, so thank you for that. And um, Bite occasionally adds some input. Yeah, just... Bite does the HUDs, mate. Bite does the HUDs. Oh, I did not know this. Yeah, I think he does the HUDs. Well, I'm pulling at HUDs. You know, I don't even install them <laughs> because in case I break something. Nice, nice. I'm supposed to be an IT consultant. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah, I, I, God I knows don't how like I black job as well. Oh dear, right, so we are nearly ready to go uh, rock and roll. Best of three format, this is how it works. The higher placed team, which in this case is Broder, they pick the first map. It's going to be Badlands coming up first with the loser picking up the second, the picking the second map, picking up the second map, um, which potentially could be Granary or Gullywash. And in fact, we are switching maps now. So Arx, what's your bet going to be, mate? Oh, it is going to be a tough one. Um, I, you know, I I don't know. I haven't really thought about this. Uh, I guess Zybatsu, um, with Cadus involved, it should be closer. Surely it should be closer. But this is already we've had some amazing games between these teams. It's just Broders always just pit them to the fence. I don't even know if that's a real saying or expression, but it sounds about <laughs> it right. It is. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Nice. Right. Okay. So Bibbon's not playing tonight. Zappus is coming in. It is going to be Badlands, by the way. Zappus is coming in. Zappus and Cookie versus Samzi and Tavik, my friend. Sorry, what was that again? Zappus and um, Cookie versus Samzi and Tavik. Hmm. Um, I would probably say that's that's difficult. It's it's this honestly. This is a really really uh. Interesting lineup. Carry on speaking while I sort my tier two because it crashed for some unknown reason. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, well I'll um, have a look through the uh, the lineups and just uh, see these players. So obviously we've we've spoken about Cadus coming in um, instead of Brigo. I think that potentially could be an upgrade, but it might suffer on the teamwork side of things. Um, hmm, it's it is difficult. Samzi, Tavik. I mean, they, they are they are top scouts without a doubt. Can they uh, take down Cookie? Um, not sure if in a, in a straight up fight they can. But then you've got uh, Rib for Broder on demo. He's uh, I can't say he's been playing that great recently. He's he's he was playing quite a good game on uh, Granary. I think he had a good one on Process as well. But I wouldn't say that he's at the top of his game. Maybe not compared to Cadis at the moment. So it's uh, difficult. I'm back in a go, mate. Cool. So it's going to be Kofiduct, by the way. So uh, <laughs> the last time I saw these guys um, play, it was basically Epsilon destroying Crack Clan on it, in fact. Hmm. Um, I, I will go, I'm going to go... Well, this is Broder's pick, so I'm not being funny. They're obviously overconfident on this. Um... So I'm gonna go. I've got to go with Broder. I've, I've got to go. I don't. I'm interested to see how the scouts play on this because um, Bibbon obviously always renowned for that death match and play, but he's such an intelligent player. Um, many people forget this. They think scouts have in some divisions. They think scout is just all about aim, which it is, <laughs> and it's all about movement. But 
Bibbon being so old school, being around for so long, uh, his intelligence is second to none really and it still shows he can pick up TF2 after a ridiculously long break and hang with the best and it's the same with a couple of scouts. I mean, whether Tivik sniping could come into play, Tivik versus Cookie and sniping on this, hmm, interesting. Someone correct me if, if uh, Zapis uh, does does snipe, I haven't seen him snipe, so uh, you know, it's going to be interesting, but we are ready to rock and roll then. So this, here we go then. This is the E2F2L well playoff. Second and third place decider. Well, third place decider. We are the TV's Arx and Beta Bones on the stream. This is Viaduct, the first map, best of three. And let's have a look from high and wide. Who wants to take this first stab at the point? So um, right now it's the... The Wang Tang team, just the Wang Tang Wang team, Tang. <laughs> just on the left hand side. Broder coming out on the couple of flags, but Cadus goes down, Team Mac goes down as well straight away, and no one's really getting the time. Broder finally gets some scouts on there. Um, Marilyn's still hanging around on the back, getting good heals, and it's looking like uh, they're going to come out on top. But hold that fort. Now the rest of the team, of course, that's the rest of the team, being none other than Wu Tang Clan. Coming forward, Uber has been popped by both teams, just holding on to the point. Neither team has capped that point arcs, and it's still stalemate. They're still trading, looking like um, Wu Tang team is just going to hold on to this for the moment. Yes, indeed. Um, just as I arrive late into the game, so they um, they've got some time on the point now. Just uh, so I'll just jumping in there of a uh, Ips by the looks of it, he might get shot on the medic. He's really weak though. Medic finishes him off with the needles, as um, it looks like Merlin, Cadus, and. Uh, Sorry, uh, two nuts, Cadus, and she likes it rough sitting on this point just to immediately cap it. Yep, so there we go. There's a Wu Tang team. Do take that first capture, and it's going to be Broder's turn to attack. Of course, attackers do spawn quicker. Uh, we see Samsi still building up back right of that uh, corner. I'm just going to have a look at the damage very quickly. So, top damage, in fact, Ox was Ribe with that thousand damage. One of the soldiers, the seven side comes huge, flying in. Both soldiers come in, both jukebox and seven side down. So, that's surely going to delay the push. Zapis goes down as well. So, that's a loss of three, but they have managed to get some time on point. There is a soldier behind of T Mac. Cadus destroys. Um, Ribe and uh, T Mac finishes, cleans them up, and well, that's the first counter push by Broder, and what a hold by uh, the Wu Tang team. I'm going to change the name every time I say it. <laughs> <laughs> the Wing Tang Tom. Um, their team has got a, a already capped out, well, nearly capped out one minute um, of the time on there as T Mac does go down to the Rocky of Zebo side. Broder actually cleaned a lot of players here. Uber was popped in order to do so, and that's going to mean that they're going to probably retake take a little while, and two nuts. Um, with Cadus and She Likes It Rough are there, but they're not going to be able to come in and contest with that. They don't yet have their Uber charge. And, um, well, Broder taking, Broder get or getting, getting their first points on the map. Yep, so of course we won't be able to do the damage of the round. So let's have a look at the damage now. So Ripe still leading the way with 1,554. Taking the most kills as well. Ips and Samzi just close behind. Um, interesting position by Sebasai, just waiting for that peak, waiting for the bomb. Anything on the audit? Jukebox running sniper arcs. Jukebox is running sniper, so may maybe Bones can pick that up for us. I'm going to stay with uh, Zebasai at the moment, who I'm expecting to jump in to try and block the point. Ooh. Jukebox come with a nice shot, and um, it takes down the soldier there. T Mac does finally come up behind um, as both soldiers almost trade their jumps. Mariner's in trouble here. Mariner's in trouble. Manages to pop just oh. in time. Hangs on. Zebasai's caught, though. They are going to come in for a block, but Wu Tang team are going to have a massive advantage, and here comes Cadus and. Um, Two nuts. Cadus goes flying back, managed to keep alive, and Cadus comes, gets Marilyn and Cookie there. Wow, just a, a random sort of um, grenade gets uh, Cookie as he tried to retreat, and they're going to hold on to it, Arcs. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same time on the border as they managed to cap that out with 1 minute 58 for uh, Broda as it's ticking down for the uh, Wu Tang clan here. So they have managed to cap it. Two Nuts was really lucky to get his Uber then. Well, I say really lucky. You've got to give them skill as oh, Zebosai goes down to a sticky trap from Cadus. I'm wondering if they're going to try pushing onto Broda here. That is one of their players down. Um, and sometimes you can take that more aggressive approach. But with Jukebox sniping, surely they're almost giving him free shots. Their Soldier of Ibs jumped around the back to try and take him down. And a couple of players did go aggressive to suicide. Obviously, they didn't commit their, uh, their medic, who is still building with a scout in the background. So they will be able to block that cap. And this is actually really smart play from them. Because it means even if Broda win that fight and they come into mid, um, they can go in with the medic and scout. Uber charge is ready and block the cap. But no, actually, they've decided not to do that. They lost too many um, players without enough in return. But they are going to have that Uber. Yeah, Marilyn's going to have it as well, just as they come in, sitting back left corner, just overhealing that player's coming back. 
Just waiting to see the bomb in from Zebside to try and force it out again. Scouts favouring that left-hand side. Do not want to get hit by that sniper. And Jukebox comes with a full body shot against Samsey. It does in return get caught. But Soldier down. Teammate gets caught. Maryland still shooting up that left-hand corner. Um, Uber has been popped to save Zebside there. So Zebside was furthest forward. Um, counter Uber comes in. It's going to be a trade on this point. Maybe they think about recycling and come back in. It. Come back in. Tivik's caught. Overextended. Two nuts oh, is two caught nuts. as well. Ribe catches two nuts. And they will definitely now come back in to block. Two players down for the Wu Tang team. Only Cade is still back up left hand corner. He's picking up so much damage down at the moment. Now, finally, one of the scouts focuses him out. He's still alive in a left hand corner, and T Mac comes in and destroys Merrill in the background. Great distraction. Cade has finally suicides, but um, at what cost? Uh, it's uh, cost to Merrill, and well, two nuts. So he's going to have about a 40, 40%, 45% advantage, Arcs. Thing is that, that they've got to make that count because time is ticking away. 50 seconds, Broder need to remain with this capture point in control on this King of the Hill map. So now it looks like uh, they are pushing in. Broder just backing off for now. There is half capped already, so they will be able to cap it quite quickly. But I don't think Broder are going to give this for free. Rib is coming in. They have managed to get the capture. So one minute and four seconds left to tick for them. Broder losing a couple of players here um, at the same time. But wow, two kills coming in from Jukebox and Rib managed to take down It and Tavik and that's going to allow them to, well, probably come in and cap this out. Got to be a bit careful because they are. In comes Uber to block it. That's a smart decision again this time. They really needed to make sure they had that, but... Um, they have a pause, maybe. It's a pause. Yeah, so uh, interesting. The, as the clock continues to tick down, that will be lovely and confusing for <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. Ox, Ox, what do you reckon is going to happen? Do you reckon they're going to get the point before it unpauses? Mm, it's a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually really <laughs> horrible. Valve, uh, if you're watching, please fix the uh, the timers and HUDs during pauses because obviously in this map the capture time is going down, and that looked like it was unpaused briefly just for somebody to rejoin the game. Um, so we'll probably be going live again in a second, um, and yeah, we will see uh, how this is going to play out. Yeah, so uh, the Wu Tang team, a lot of players down at the moment. Four players down, T Mac and two nuts. <laughs> Pretty far forward, far right hand side. You can see where T Mac is sitting. Um, of course, Broder will have to come in for the block. There's about 40 seconds left, and that is the unpause. Again, obviously, the time will stop running until we catch up with it now. So there's probably about 30 seconds left. Broder do need to get time on point. Both scouts coming on there as well now. Um, they are getting time on point, still haven't captured it out. And still time's on three. Soldier comes in to block of Ips. Must be pretty damn close there. Finally, the time has reset. 25 seconds remaining as a counter. Uber now comes in. Ips gets caught. 30 seconds for Broder to capture it now. Two Nuts will not have his Uber in time, so they will need to come out without it. And Two Nuts is caught by Jukebox. So I'm not sure if they're hanging around. And Cadus is surely going to get caught here. He's so weak. He doesn't manage to um, stay alive. And while well, Marilyn gets destroyed by T-Mac, they're going to come in and block again, Arx. It's all trade trouble. at the moment. It's going to be Scout versus Scout as now Ribe comes in to help out. One of the soldiers up top, I believe that is um, oh. Ips who destroys Cookie. It's going to be so close. 15 seconds remaining. Arx, take over. They are going to have a full team coming in for these last few seconds. Remember, overtime can be a bigger play here, but they've got no time on the point at the moment. Someone needs to just touch that point just to start building that overtime in case things go wrong for Broder at the moment. They are over onto the point. Uh, the overtime is coming in. They've nearly capped it. They've got to be careful here. Um, obviously, uh, the uh, Wu-Tang Clan do get a little bit of time. They've got uh, 11 seconds to still make this play. Broder losing a lot of players. And wow, only the Medic alive. Nobody's going to get in the spawn here. He hasn't got an Uber charge to block that. And it does look like the Wu-Tang Clan or Zaibatsu are taking round number one. So there we have it, round one going to the Wu-Tang team. This is Broder's pick and how it works on the King and Hill maps is best of three. So um, they actually unpaused them at the end of the round, which was nice. So let's have a look at the damage of that round. Top damage, surprise, surprise, Cadus, 4135, Ribe, 339, Ips, 2578. This is round two as we see T-Mac get caught straight away going aggressive. TV caught as well. Um, surely the other soldier of Ips gets caught as well. That's four players down for the Wu-Tang team and Broder capping it relatively easy. And Cadus comes in for the block. Cadus does block it. But what cost again goes down quickly. But um, of course, get, being the attackers, we'll get those uh, front spawns. So it will be irrelevant. And well, Broder, happy to build. And uh, Two Nuts really ready to go with his Uber as well. Yeah, exactly what you said. Cadus, actually, that was a very smart play, and that's, that shows a bit of knowledge in the game, because 
he knew there's no point in him running back because actually it's quicker for him to just suicide and match up with his team because he only had a seven second respawn after going in for that suicide so he might as well have tried that out and now um they are pushing it uber is uh two nuts still hasn't um actually used his he's sitting in the spawn at the moment i guess um waiting suicide to see run, what they mate. can do Force it. they forced it haven't they so now they're going to walk back into the point without it yeah indeed so they have got their uber charge um i was wondering if maybe they could have Sent the medic further forward, but I guess there could be a sniper in play or something along those look lines. Where so, is. Look where Zebo is. Ah, I so see. So Zebosai is actually sitting behind him at the moment in the house. She's probably waiting for the call. Here we go. So Zebosai is going to come jumping in and above. He does come in. First rocket misses. Second rocket does force that Uber though. So that's a good result. That is a fair trade. And now the advantage swings back in favour of that Broder team. Again with Jukebox sniping. I'm just trying to find him at the moment. Sniping back right as he's surfing away as I go in eyes and switches back to Soldier for that push arcs. Indeed. So that was a great play by them. But um, it does look like Zybatsu have managed to cap this midpoint for the time being so uh, time is ticking down for them they Broder did manage to get well over a minute and 15 seconds a soldier of Ips does jump in forces the Broder Uber um, so we'll have to see what Broder can do here they're sending players forward scout of Tavik is running back but he's gonna get chased down and probably taken out no does just about manage to escape but he's gonna need a heal before he comes back in and Broder very very promptly retake their position in the middle <laughs> of the map so it's all for giggles at the moment here. It is quickly trading once and once again. Um, so now it's the turn of the Wu-Tang team to come in with their Uber. I just want to see if no one's running sniper this time. Any potential bombs in from the, the Broder soldiers? No, but T-Mac tries the bomb and gets absolutely destroyed in that far right-hand corner. Uber has been popped by two nuts. Merlin still does not have his... Zebeside comes in for the block as well. Um, actually destroyed by Tivik and Samsi. Hit once and twice in quick succession. Ribes caught. Broder do lose, lose a few players, but uh, Merlin does stay alive. Probably wants to get out of that little choke point there, making sure the soldiers don't come into block. But will now with the rest of his team, both soldiers, Cookie and of course Zippis or Zappis, of course, apologies. The scout coming in. Here they go. So T Mac goes far forward to try and force it out. He comes in relatively on the tested massive rocket by Sebazine's T Max. And uh, they're going to probably take this uncontested arc. So I, I don't see I... Wu Tang coming in. I was actually going to say that I'm surprised that we haven't seen any heavy play or sniper Cadus? play uh, or too much. Uh, for the time being, as Cadus did come in, uh, does get <laughs> shot. shot down from Jukebox. Uh, nice air shot there. But I was, I was going to say that I'm surprised we don't see any heavies being played because with all of these suicide attempts over onto the Medic, a heavy can shut a lot of them down. He can uh, deal so much damage to people in the air and as they land, one rocket finishes them off. So it did look like for a second, um, Zybatsu were opting to run that heavy, but they've decided against it. I guess it's probably because of the time they're just opting for high mobility. But um, at the moment, Broder are winning these exchanges and Zybatsu need to do something to hold on to this midpoint for, well, longer than the 10 seconds that they're managing so far. 30 seconds just about coming up on the board now for Broder in this second round of Kof Viaduct. Um, Uber has been popped by Marilyn. Two Nuts does come in, but Ips is caught, so one of the soldiers goes down. And look at the health of the other players as well. Counter Uber does come in, it's going to be Cadus versus Ribe. Cadus takes a massive hit from the scouts and the soldiers, and he it eventually goes down, but Tivik's causing all types of problems. Ribe comes out huge against Tivik. Will Two Nuts go down? Two Nuts does get caught by Jukebox as well. Five players down. Surely a Broder round, definitely going to be a Broder round, so we're all tied. In this first map arcs, what a what a game so far. Oh, oh block comes in! <laughs> Team Mac blocking. They do get a little bit of overtime on there. Demo but in, surely, demo yeah. in. Oh, <laughs> it's all over! Oh. Wow. That was close. Cadus actually took down a number of players. If he touched the point for just a fraction of a second, and well, if they just had one more body in there, that might have been an unexpected block there. Can never say never on this map. As we are going on to round three, um, making their way to the midpoint. No unusual classes so far, but, well, high mobility pays dividends in this game and um, having a look to see who's going to be making the first move Jukebox jumping over onto wow. Medic he does get shut down but uh, Kadus also going down T-Back uh, T-Back T-Mac going down and uh, Zappis and Jukebox well falling looks like Broda are coming out in top in this they're going to get this time on the point but Two Nuts has managed to stay alive so we can expect them coming back in very very shortly yeah, Ips comes in for a potential block doesn't work I must say if you watch that again just watch where Ribe is Totally un uncontested. Got three stickies down straight away. One of them, Cadus may as well had for breakfast. And then he just had three free roam with the grenades on that left-hand corner. And he, with that, like, in conjunction with the jump, it, it just absolutely destroyed them. It absolutely destroyed them. And that's why they got that first point. Well, 
got that point. Apologies so quickly and well. Check out Jukebox on Sniper. Um, obviously, he's a very talented sniper. Can he come up with a shot on anyone? He's trying to hit some scouts at the moment. Um, that I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but then commentators curse. He hits one in the head as uh, ah! Broder just uh, moving forward onto this point. They are going to retain it, and that does mean that Zaibatsu, um, well, aren't going to be able to take this back. Broder just walking away with this third round, just like they did the second, getting, uh, well, just about to reach that first minute of capture point time. So here we go then, it's all for the Wu-Tang Wu Clan to do. I keep on thinking Wang Tang, I don't know where I've got <laughs> that from. But Wu-Tang uh, Wang Clan. Oh, Jukebox says hello to Tivik, and Tivik uh, answers by quietly and promptly well, presenting his head. Um, Ips comes out for a shot, not really, going to be spammed out probably by Zebesai back right corner. Uh, one of the soldiers, um, it must be T-Mac who goes round behind, does take down Cookie, but it does take down both Ubers have been popped. In fact, the Wu-Tang team used their Uber slightly before as Ips tries to rotate round behind. Tavik very weak at the moment. Ips coming back in. He's going to have a free shot into Marilyn, and he does take Marilyn. He may take the Demo Man arrive with him as well, and yes, he does. Wow. Ips just left alone to go round the back, get the med pack, and basically come back in. So, I'm not sure where that came from, but it worked. <laughs> Indeed, so, um, well, they have managed to get that point and they really needed to because Broder had already reached over the 50% uh, stage for the time they need to secure this round. So, um, just having a look now if Broder opting to run anything, Jukebox has changed back to Soldier for the aggressive plays. In comes the suicidal play, Soldier's jumping everywhere, Medic's getting caught, he's gonna get taken down, last ditch rocket from Jukebox, takes down two nuts in the background behind the cliff, and, um, wow. Uh, that's a lot of players down. Broder's suicide attempt didn't really work. Well, actually, it did work. They did get the medic, so they are going to have that uber advantage, but mm, I'm wondering if they would have hoped for a few more casualties just to make this push a little bit easier. Yep, so the time is ticking away in favour of the Wu-Tang team at the moment. This is the final round of the first map. And, uh, well, Wu-Tang want to take it so they get uh, the advantage, of course, of this best of three maps tonight. You have just joined us. This is Vanilla TV's Arx and Beta bringing you the third place decider E2F12 player season 15 as we're watching Ips again go really aggressive on Marilyn. Oh my gosh, she got him. That rocket got him. It got through a soldier. It actually went through a soldier. I swear it did. Wow. So uh, Broder do manage to recapture, but at the cost of Marilyn, will the Wu-Tang team just roll back in here? I think so. That's it. So with one minute 10 remaining that Broder need to uh, secure, they... I mean, everything's running in their favor for the moment, apart from that uber advantage. It does look like um, Zaibatsu or Wu-Tang Clan aren't going to be waiting for that uber. They need to get some more time on the point, uh, which means no suicidal plays. And actually, this has worked for them. They've managed to cap it out, and they've kept their uber play. Uh, Jukebox coming out with a massive headshot over onto She Likes It Rough. Soldier, if he turned around, might be able to get the medic, but it's okay because Cookie's chasing him down. He's surely going to get him here. I say surely, but actually this medic's doing a great job of deathmatching. Finally, Cookie takes him down <laughs> with a pistol. Oh, um, Merlin's going to get caught. Oh. See, see, Merlin shows him how it's done there with the needles. Merlin with next to no health manages to deathmatch his attacker. That just, uh, it doesn't really show you the that's levels like revenge, of the two medics. Mate, mate yeah. that's revenge. That's like, uh, what's the word? When you do something and it comes back to bite you in the ass. Karma. Karma, thank you. I'm losing my words. It's really hot in England, man. Look, okay, yeah, that is karma boiling. because a rocket went through Zebesa a minute ago to get Marilyn. That is basically karma. Marilyn eats a ma eats a massive full side rocket and gets him with the needles as he gets destroys himself with it. Right, so Broder, 30 seconds left to win this, and looking like they're holding on as the Wu Tang team come in. Oh, Jukebox just misses out on the shot and two nuts. He goes all the way back to spawn, and he hasn't built at the moment. In fact, if I was Broder, I might be tempted to go and sit outside their spawn right now with this Uber. Yeah, it's, you know that's probably a good idea. That, well, <laughs> it would it would be a good idea, but they have they want to utilise that sniper, and the sniper's not going to be able to join in that party. So can expect some aggressive plays coming. Tv gets headshot. He was the only one who was going to touch the point in time. Uber over onto the point. Scout does manage to get a fraction of a, its tippy toe over onto that point. It's go. not going to be enough to even delay with overtime. And Broda taking the third round, two one the score. Wait, is this best of five? Yes, it is. First oh to my three. gosh! Oh, first to three. Okay, I thought it was best of three. No, right, no, no. so the round four, round four then. So will Broder have the same sort of momentum going forward? Wu-Tang team going on much more aggressive this time. 
As we see, T-Mac goes top right-hand corner to try and shut down Zebrazai spamming out, and it doesn't work. But Jukebox and Roy both get caught, so there's two massive damage dealers, and it is working. But look at the health of the Wu-Tang team players at the moment. Marilyn still healing, healing uh, Zebrazai and Zappis back left corner, and, well, they will wait for the spawns. And the Wu-Tang team are winning this fourth mid. Uh, well, fourth first fight, let's say. And let's just have a look at the top damage of that last round, by the way. Uh, Kadis 2234, Ride 1947, and Zebazai 1902. Really dominated by the Broda team as we see them now rotate back in as a massive solid unit. Um, one of the soldiers has managed, of the Wu Tang team has managed to stay behind though, and as they rolled in one massive solid Ooh. unit, they're all going to die as one massive solid unit. <laughs> wow, that was it. The, the Uber was forced last ditch effort. I thought the two nuts was actually going to go down there, but. Um, manages to hold on to that Uber. Well, not hold it, but use it and hold on to his life is what I should have said. Um, it's, it's actually quite surprising that the Wu-Tang Clan, they are coming out really strong in the opening exchange. Um, it's just these suicide plays from Broder are so effective when it comes to the second round that they just they get the job done and then they're coming in quite comfortably and taking this point. Um, it does look like the Wu-Tang Clan have managed to uh, at least get one minute on the clock. Uh, as Broder coming to cap it out. We do have Tavik running Sniper, seeing what he can do. Soldier is jumping around. Looks like he wants to pressure him. Um, but he's in a bit of an uncomfortable situation, standing on a door ledge. Scout comes around the corner, surely going to finish him off. Um, wow, just about. She likes it rough, takes him down. But Broder getting some nice time on this point. Ooh, and, Tavik um, sniping, just missed yeah. uh, Marilyn. Just missed Marilyn, in fact. Had a clear shot, and well, he missed him. Um, Marilyn does have that Uber as well, so that would have been a uh, big drop there. Um, they're just building up on the, for another push left hand side. Um, I expect the Uber to be popped relatively early by Marilyn to try and save Ripe here. And in fact it's Rutang team who do pop it at first. Probably forced by the sniper. Great hold by Marilyn. Uh, basically showing how good he is at dodging. Will two nuts get caught? He's sticking off. Two nuts still dodging around. Managed to heal up Cadus. And so maybe we could see another fight here with neither team having the Uber. Jukebox comes up with T-Mac because he came jumping in. Cookie gets taken down. Cadus though finished off by Zaphis. And, uh, well, Jukebox sitting back left corner at the moment, relatively uncontested, is really locking it down for them. Indeed, indeed, Broder. Two minutes. They've already, sorry, they've already secured their first minute, and uh, time is ticking over. So Broder looking to just seal this first map in this playoff game. And, um, well, so far, everything's going well for them. Slightly Uber advantage is not really going to come into play, as um, both teams still opted just to run that regular Uber charge. We haven't seen crits as Jukebox two comes out with a body shot over onto Two Nuts, takes him down. That is not going to be going well for um, Zaibatsu here. Yeah, this is going to be a disastrous push as the Heavy gets rocked out as well by Zappis now as well. They're going to need to totally focus him out as well. Jukebox coming actually all aggressive. Tivik still counter snipering by the way, and we haven't forgotten about that, but it's just all been about Jukebox sniping right now. And uh, Marilyn quite wisely sitting back left hand corner as he heals up his sniper. Tivik won't be able to get a cheeky headshot with him. Uh, he does get a nice body shot on him though, and uh, Jukebox will go back for the heals because one more shot will kill him. I expect a soldier to come in, but with that heavy there, it's going to be interesting. One minute left for Broder. That's it, uh, Tivik does manage to get the shot over onto Jukebox. It was just a fully charged body shot by the looks of things. As Uber does come out, uh, Broder slowing it down with the heavy of Zaibatsu. This is going to be really hard to assault. They're going to need Tivik to come out with a headshot over onto that heavy because they have lost some of their damage, obviously, with the uh, scouts changing to Sniper. But things not looking great for them. Broder only needs to do another 40 seconds, 47 seconds um, to win this map. So we'll have to see how uh, the Wu-Tang Clan are going to well, proceed. Yep, building fast, 80% now for Two Nuts Maryland, only 50%, but would they have lost track of those advantages? I'm going to go in eyes with Jukebox still, so Jukebox trying to pick out those damage dealers as he's avoiding those rockets coming in. Um, there is time on point, he does get a shot onto the team at Jumping Soldier, just missed out the shot on Two Nuts again. Um, again, he's just, Maryland manages to uh, use it, and well, not use it, apologies, retreat all the way back hand corner, Two Nuts used it. And, well, Marilyn got caught, so it's going to be not a very eventful hold for Broder as finally the Wu-Tang team gets some further time on the point. And, well, it's going to be an interesting final one minute and 30 seconds left as Broder now coming to recapture. Will they want to come in and block arcs? I don't think so. Zappis does get caught by... Um, it was T-Mac, but, uh, yeah, they, it's, it's still for there. 15 seconds left, they're going to have to come in, Arx. This is it. It's all or nothing now. Here we go. 
It is indeed so for these final seven seconds. They need to get some time on this. There's going to be no Uber from Merlin to block. Soldier does jump aggressive. Somebody needs to go on the point. Scout of uh, She Likes It Rough taking the initiative there. It's going okay for them, but they have lost their medic. Uh, Merlin will have his Uber if it comes down to uh, holding on to this. It looks like they are managing to cap this out. So now the ball is in Broda's court. They've still got one minute and 14 seconds left to uh, hold on to this point, And that's asking a lot, but we'll see uh, how they can do. One minute left then, Broder, all they need is just a t foot on the point to cap it. And well, it's going to be their first map and it, right now they are in the ascendancy as they roll up to this point. So I'll just come in behind Marilyn. Managed to glide away, he's going to go for the Ubersaw, but T-Mac turns around and destroys him. Um, will they hold on? Broder still time some point. Um, they're going to hold still it, still they hold it. Are they going to hold it? They will hold it, wow. So 35 seconds left for the Wu-Tang team to hold it and take us to 2 all with a final round. And here's the thing, they um, this is quite uh, an interesting one, as 2Nuts is going to have that uber charge and Broda are not going to have one as they come in and they might be able to, this might be good that scout just getting his toes on the point smart play there from a uh, scout of Tompa in come Broda now can they do anything oh Tunas dropped his uber he didn't manage to Massive get that but they well. have managed to wipe Broda and there's only uh, 10 seconds left this is going to go to a fifth round unless somebody can get in very quickly there's a lot of time still on that point so Broda might even have another shot if the demo man can jump there very very quickly um, <laughs> so we'll have to see, and someone is going to get there on time, but whether they're going to get shut down by Tavik on the roof. So just trying to jump. No, they're not getting there in time. <laughs> she likes it rough, takes Zabosai out in the air, and we are going to a fifth round clutch play there from the Wu-Tang Clan. So there you go. It was a nice air shot to 2-Nuts. So this is going to be the final decider of this first map, then this is exactly what we wanted. This is Vanilla TV bringing you Ito to our playoff between the Wu-Tang team and Broda, map one of King of the Hill Viaduct and 2-2 two, two the score. This is the final decider. As we see again, Wu-Tang on the aggressive, taking down Cookie Maryland, caught in that left-hand corner. Ips comes on point to block, turns around, um, but both 2-Nuts and um, she likes to run. So Samsi gets destroyed. Ips comes in to Maryland. Maryland goes gliding away, managed to surf it away. And uh, it's going to be only Ips who's left behind, but has he been called? Surely, surely he's been called. He has. It's yeah, he is. He is called. Well, this is slightly different. I don't think Broda have actually won the first fight in this match so far. Um, and that's what they've done. So we'll probably see some sort of suicide play coming from the Wu-Tang Clan. Um, and, well, it looks like the Medic is still sitting around near to that spawn point. Just over here in this Demo Man and, uh, well, Demo Man and Soldier as they come in for a play. T-Mac going in first with a very aggressive job, but Zapis shuts him down with a scatter gunshot, meat shot. And, wow, Broda defending this strong so far, but Medic... Yeah, Medic is still alive and he's got the height as well, so he's going to be perfectly safe. That suicide play did not work. And, um, well, they're going to have to try something else. Probably just a standard Uber push. Yep, so Brodo hanging on. Um, for the moment, two minutes left for them to hold out. And, uh, well, who's your money on, Arx? Come on. <laughs> it's it's going to be tough. I mean, the, the, the ball is in Brodo's court at the moment. But so far, it's usually taken about a minute for both teams to uh, swap over that capture point. So it just happens that Broda have the initiative in this one, getting time on the board first of all. So just coming in, uh, T-Mac does get finished off with an aggressive play. Jukebox is taken down in return though. But again, this push isn't working for them. They've already lost three players. Broda holding on strong, only just popped their Uber now. Still keeping five of their players alive. Kade is having to retreat. He's going to get shut down by the scout. Demoman, except for that. Oh, I was going to say that was going to be an amazing sticky jumper uh, escape there. But... Zebosai uh, read that play very well and takes him down and so they are still retaining on this midpoint one well they've reached the halfway mark and Broda looking strong in this round yep so Broda one minute and 20 seconds left let's just have a look at the damage Tivik running sniper by the way I'm gonna go in eyes on him um, gets a big old shot onto Zebosai in fact that didn't hit him wow and does come out with a headshot onto Ribe actually so uh, Will that prompt the push, arcs? We will see. And it does prompt the push. Um, two Nuts rejoining his team back right-hand corner. No one really wants to commit. A little bit of um, st stalemate here, I guess. And finally, they get some time on point. But I expect Broder to come rolling back in. Good 20% Uber advantage, arcs. Yes, effectively, um, Broder have got almost two rounds for one in that. They managed to secure that point for two minutes. And if, if you manage to hold it for one minute, that's good. That's what I would consider to be a round if you try to make a King of the Hill map into rounds. Um, so in effect, Broder just got two there, and um, it looks like Zybatsu are just managing to get their first one on the board, or nearly their first, 
uh, minute secured as Broda come in with that uber charge. Soldiers flanking around aggressively at the back to try and take down the demo man and uh, Sniper to me does go down. It looks like Cadus is also in a bit of trouble. Scout meat shot and in. Medic does tag onto him. Soldier is chasing him as well though and Broda playing really beautifully with some uh, well hardcore aggression there and they are going to be taking back this midpoint and they only need 59 seconds. 59 seconds to win this first map. Um, as we see the Wu-Tang team spawns coming in, 60% advantage it's going to be in real term for Marilyn and his team. Um, it's two nuts on crits. Uh, no, y uh, no. Yeah, I was going to say it's building so fast, I thought it was on crits. Um, in, in fact, no one's used crits yet. Surprised. But uh, probably knew they wouldn't have it before uh, Marilyn had his Uber, so it would have been that one sweet sticky. They're going to come and try to block maybe suicide and try and get out of Marilyn. That's what all the best I can hope for there. And if they do get out of Marilyn, so 25 seconds left on the board, as you can hear in the background. Two knots gets taken down, so now it's all up to the Wu-Tang's remaining players of Tavik, Cadus and Samzi to come out big. And wow, will they do it enough at the moment? They do it enough to... Wow, wow, crazy stuff from Tavik there. He does get shut down by Cookie. Jukebox also takes down Cadus, but they're going to get some time on this point. They've got to do basically what they did in the last round, but for three times as long. So one scout is coming over onto the point to try and do something there. It looked like she likes it rough. Was, um, well, was uh, just standing there typing or something. But Soldier had his back, yo. And, um, well, they have to actually change the time limit um, <laughs> on, on the map. Just because this time limit doesn't matter on this. It is the first of three rounds. Um, and we nearly hit the 30 minute mark. So Broda, three seconds left. Just saw Tivik hold on to it all by himself with the help of Samzi. And well, he's doing the job again. Tivik's pistol um, taking down two of the Broda players. And that's almost a full wipe. Zappis is just only the spawn who's just stayed building for Marilyn. They only have, what, there's one minute 30. Broda need to capture and it'll basically be theirs. So they're going to come up as what solid unit. And of course, two nuts went down. So it's going to be the Uber versus nothing. Um, I'm surprised Tivik maybe hasn't opted to run Sniper. Maybe I haven't seen a Heavy yet. Heavy might be a good, just to delay it, slow it down. Team Max says, hang about, I'm going to go on the aggressive. And Tivik helps him out and Uber, Uber's popped. Uber's popped. What a result for the Wu-Tang team there. No, this isn't good at all. They've lost two of their players. They can't afford to let this cap go at all. And they overextended with a couple of their players. Look, two seconds, one second left. One soldier is on the point. He's going to get taken down. Demoran coming in to do what he can. But Broda taking this first map. Just great read of the, the situation, great read to the play, and um, well, congratulations to Broda for taking this first map. There we have it, first map in favour of Broda on this E2F2L well playoff season 15, Villain TV bringing you the coverage. Let's have a look at the, the damage stats really quickly. Um, in fact, I've they've gone dead on my screen, I do not <laughs> know why. Uh, I'll fix that in a minute, but um, yeah. So... As expected, Arcs, Broda's map, that was their pick. So surely that, that's what you would have expected? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't have necessarily picked this map in such an important game because a bit like Gravel Pit, I feel that this map could go either way. Um, I guess Broda are confident with their deathmatch ability, but if, if I was playing for Broda... Um, I, I would have thought that we'd have just taken them out on something like Granary, but maybe they're safe, saving those ace in the holes for uh, later on in this uh, competition. I'm just waiting for the pick, as we're waiting for now. Um, Arx, Karen speaking. Well, in fact, I'll wait until the map load and I'll go and get a drink uh, because I am a die today. So, of course, tonight we have Bones doing uh, the magical uh, split screen. Uh, we appreciate your feedback so let us know what you think um, trying his best and uh, well I'm hot with one computer so I can't imagine what it would be like two computers to three monitors sod that <laughs> yeah it is no doubt hard work from our streamer there as uh, we will be going on to this second map I didn't actually see what map they chose um, so it'll be interesting to see as the map is loading um, what the Zaibatsu team or Wu-Tang Clan or as Beta puts it Wang Tang Woo, something along those lines that he uh, keeps talking about. Be interested to see which map they are choosing. So just waiting for it to load. I imagine uh, on the stream it hasn't quite loaded either. So either way, it was a good game. Um, shout out to Bones for doing a great job uh, with the stream. And well, can't wait for this next map. 